guys, what is up? This is your Awesome Crafter here, everybody, and welcome back to another awesome video, everybody, and a Minecraft video tutorial, everybody, and I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do your own multiverse in single player, technically multiverse anyway. So, before we get into this video, I'd like to say please like and subscribe, comment down below for the videos, turn on the notification bells, you'll never know when I'll be uploading more videos in the past like this. This is very awesome, guys, and you I don't know this that there is a couple more subscribers so thank you very much you guys and welcome aboard to the awesome channel everybody welcome aboard and as a matter of fact today I'll also like to discuss a few things before we begin also 97.5% of you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel so please do so while watching this video everybody you can take a moment pause this video right now and go ahead and click subscribe and like everybody 2.5% of you have already subscribed, and I thank you guys enough. I appreciate it. So, everybody, without further ado, everybody, we're going to get into this. So, technically, everybody, you may be wondering the question of how in the world do I have multiple worlds in one single-player world? Well, guys, it's actually quite simple and quite easy to do. It took me a little while to figure it out, but eventually, after tinkering with a few settings, I managed to figure out how to do that exactly as dimensions so everybody for those of you who do not know what multiverse is multiverse is technically a plugin for minecraft servers mostly java uses this stuff and bedrock barely even uses that anymore but uh java definitely java most servers like mineplex snapcraft etc etc you know you get the idea so technically multiverse is a multiverse core is supposed to have multiple worlds on a single server which is actually very awesome considering if you needed to build hubs do whatever mini game servers lobbies arenas it's actually quite handy so and uh, I'm not gonna provide the link for that sorry guys <laughs> I uh, since this is obviously something different so in today's tutorial everybody I'm gonna be showing you how to do that for your own single player world it is actually quite easy and simple you just follow my lead everybody and we will be good to go okay so as you guys can see here I have my screen open with minecraft and everything else in it here so and as you guys can see on the left here this is NBT Explorer so what you guys saw earlier in those video clips that I showed you for world 1 and world 2 here which is gonna be for these examples here so you need to create at least two worlds here so in the minimal, you can have up to many worlds as you want. You can have like a freaking hundred for all I care. So anyway, for each world, what you're going to need to do, and I'm not recommend like putting a hundred worlds in one world probably because it might crash your game. But anyway, so what you need to do also obviously is create two worlds. You can have whatever you want in it. I already have two buildings, obviously, two structures. So after you get all that handled, you're going to open a program called NBT Explorer. Link in the description, you guys. You can download it off. You can download it and use it on offline. So this is technically a world editor for all the files and everything, the basics of Minecraft, game rules, cheat settings, all that good stuff here. So what you need to do here is that you need to go into the World 2 folder level.date this is very important so level.date data and this is where you're gonna find the dimensions so world gen settings we're gonna expand that dimensions this is very important because this is where all everything this is where the magic happens you guys so you need to copy overworld so we're gonna copy that then we're gonna go here world one which is your main world and then we're gonna go to date don't choose level dot date old because that is old and it will get deleted so don't choose that so world gen settings go to the same place dimensions then we're gonna click on dimensions and we're gonna paste it okay so it'll show up with copy one we're gonna we're not gonna need that at the moment I have to drag this window over here real quick because for some reason the MBT Explorer doesn't show the small dialog here. So here you go. So I'll drag it over here. So this is what it's going to look like here. So it's going to show up with a dialog called edit name. So we're going to keep the Minecraft. So keep the Minecraft. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to just call it World 2. 
We're gonna click OK. Then, what we're gonna do after that, I'm gonna drag this back over here. We're gonna click Save. Then, we're gonna go here into our Minecraft. We're gonna load up World 1. It might take us a moment. Okay, so it'll show up with an experimental settings warning here. And it says, Worlds using experimental settings are not supported. The world uses experimental settings that could stop working at any time. We cannot guarantee it will load or work. So, what you need to do is click, I know what I'm doing. So, you need to click, what I know what I'm doing. And don't worry about the message. It is perfectly normal since it detected another dimension in the same folder. So... Alright, so here we are. We are in our structure here. Really nice structure. You can create the old village structures, which usually don't exist anymore. So, that'd be nice if they could bring that back again, but oh well. It is what it is. Okay, so what you need to do now, you need to type in slash execute in. It'll show a new world here. As you guys can see, a new dimension called World 2. So... There will be nothing on it yet from the second structure on the world 2. It won't show because we haven't generated the world yet. So we need, and there's still a little bit of work to do. So we're going to run tp at s. We're just going to, I'm just going to teleport at least y. So it'll show up with a new world here. So we're going to teleport. Booyah, look at that, you guys. See, look at that. We are in the overworld. We're still technically in the overworld. Freaking genius. Okay, so... Pure genius. Alright, so now that we have that configured, we need to exit out. So don't worry, it will go back to world 1 when we, re when we respawn again. Sorry if the thing's a bit laggy. It's just Streamlabs, everything. It's just kind of wonky. It uses a lot of hardware so all right so now that that's done we don't need nbt explorer anymore so we're gonna close that out we're gonna open our file explorer we're gonna head to our app data so i'm gonna drag this window over see you open your file explorer see users i'm gonna enter my username app data roaming dot minecraft saves okay all right so this is very important if you want to have your second struct we're gonna have the second structure into world one for the dimension so for the second dimension what we're gonna to need to do we need to go to world two we need to copy all this except so we're gonna copy all this well we don't need well yeah you'll see here in a moment okay so saves we're gonna copy all that go to world one there will be a new folder called Dimensions, as you guys can see. So this is where everything is. Minecraft, World 2. So this is the Custom Dimensions. So this is where Custom Dimensions go to. So, Data, Entities, and Region. We're gonna, we're gonna select, we're gonna paste it all. It'll come up with a message, so we're gonna replace all the files here. Uh, we don't need Icon, so we don't need the Icon. So we have everything we need here. Duh, yeah, so data, data packs, whatever. We don't really need that, but I just keep it here just because, because who knows, maybe there could be some game breaking glitches. I don't know. So so once that is done, we can close this out and go here. Make sure you copy down the coordinates. I forgot to tell you guys that. So copy down the coordinates here like I did. So I have notepad here up and running. So these are the coordinates for each of the worlds here, world one, will, which will go in front of the building. So that's why I did that. So you don't have to, but it'd be recommended if you want to know if it actually works or not. So, okay, so we go back into world one. Might show up with the, yep, I know what I'm doing. All right, so this is our final step here. So we just teleport again. Yeah, we just teleport again. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we go back into execute and overworld run. We're gonna go back into 
108.70. We're gonna go back into World 1. Okay, so we loaded up on the first dimension. I hope it actually loaded up for World 2. I think we may have made a mistake here. I don't know. So we should have probably teleported back here before we entered into World 2. But that's okay. We're gonna try this again. Execute and World 2. Okay, run TP at S2. 4663, negative 13. We're gonna teleport there. It should show up with our structure. Okay, we're just waiting. There it is, guys. Check that out. There it is. So there, here's all the data from World 2, everybody. So yeah, we just needed to reload. Okay. So if you guys are stuck in World 2, if it doesn't regenerate you back into World 1, what you need to do is just teleport down to World 1 and then teleport back in again to World 2. So, there we go, guys. That is how we do it, everybody. So we can teleport wherever we want to. This is the second dimension. Just a nice little simple piston structure here. So, kind of looks cool. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay, well, everybody. That is my tutorial, everybody, and how you can do multiverse in your single-player world. I hope everybody enjoys this as much as I do, too. This is very fun. Very awesome. I really like the way you can just, uh, yeah, you can just go around and uh, create different worlds on one world. That is very awesome, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And comment down below for further videos, everybody. I hope everybody enjoys this and have fun with their multiplayer world or multiverse, whichever ones you guys want to do. So, everybody, without further ado, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Peace!